welcome back to Zuluba Consultants. In this video, we want to learn how we can calculate the final temperature when two liquids are mixed. The question that we have reads, what is the final temperature when 150 milliliters of water at 90 degrees Celsius is added to 100 milliliters of water at 30 degrees Celsius. To answer this question, we need to analyze the information that we have been given. So we have one water that we can say it is hot, then the other one which is relatively cold. So this water which is hot, we are saying the volume of it, we have been given that the volume is 150 milliliters and then we have also been given the temperature of this one that the temperature is 90 degrees celsius when we look at the cold water the volume they have given us that the volume is 100 milliliters and then its temperature it is 30 degrees celsius so after we know this information, they are saying the two are added together. So they want us to find the final temperature that we are going to have when these two liquids are mixed. When the two liquids are mixed, we are going to notice that the heat will be at equilibrium. So we are simply saying, if the heat is at equilibrium, the heat of the hot water should be equal to the heat of the cold water. So this one is hot, this one is cold. Now, why have we put a negative on the hot water? It's because this hot water should lose some heat. It will lose some heat, hence Q is negative. This one, Q is positive because it will gain some heat. So that's why for the hot one, Q is negative. For the cold, Q is positive. Now, after we do this, we need to remember that we calculate Q as MC change in temperature for the hot will be equal to M C change in temperature for the cold. So this is what we are saying should happen at equilibrium. Now let's get some information that we have here and see how we can use them in this equation. The first one that we have for hot is the initial temperature. So the initial temperature we have is 90 degrees Celsius. So we do not have the final temperature, that's the one they have asked us. Then we also need to have the mass. The mass is going to come from the volume that we have been given. Remember, the density of water is one gram per milliliter. So if you have the volume, you can simply multiply the volume with the density to get the mass. So this means if we multiply 1 with 150, we are going to get 150 grams. So we have the mass there. Do we have the specific heat capacity? We have not been given the specific heat capacity. Let's look at the cold part. For the cold part, we have the initial temperature there. The initial temperature is 30 degrees Celsius. The final temperature, we don't have. The mass, we are also going to multiply this 100 with 1 to get the mass, which will give us 100 grams. Then the specific heat capacity, we also don't have. We have managed to get this information we can use this information now in line with the equation that we have. 
So let's put this information in the equation. We are saying negative, the mass we have is 150 grams multiplied by C, that is the specific capacity of water. We don't have it. Multiplied by the change in temperature. So change in temperature is final minus initial. So we are saying the final we don't have. Then the initial we have is 90 degrees Celsius. This should be equal to, on the other hand, the mass is 100 grams multiplied by C, multiplied by the change in temperature. The final we don't have. The initial is 30 degrees Celsius. So when we have this, you will notice that we have the specific heat capacity which is featuring from both sides of the equation. So we can simply simplify this specific heat capacity. At this point, we can multiply negative 150 with what is in the bracket. So negative 150 multiplied by T final will have negative 150 T final. Then negative 150 multiplied by negative 90. We are saying 150, negative 150, multiplied by negative 90. It is giving us positive uh, 13,500. It's equal to this other side, 100 multiplied by uh, T final will have 100 T final. Uh, then 100 multiplied by negative 30 we we'll have negative 3,000 there. At this point, we put the like terms together. So we can say 13,500 when this process the equal sign becomes plus, plus 3,000 is equal to, we have 100 TF then when this crosses the equal sign becomes positive plus 150 TF. So when we add 13,500 and 3,000, we are going to get 16,500 is equal to, when we add 100 and 150, we are going to get 250 TF final. So we now divide both sides by 250 by 250. These will simplify. So T final will be equal to uh, 16,500 divided by 250. It gives us 66 degrees Celsius. So this becomes the final temperature when the two waters are added.